Hey brothers and sisters, God bless each and every single one of you. It's Hunter's Point here. It's my fourth take because I'm, I'm trying to make sure that I do the best I can to deliver this message. Um, there have been a lot of wildfires this year in California. That's no secret. And I wanted to go ahead and report on the latest one. It's actually a brush fire located near the Hollywood Hills in California. It's actually right near Warner Brothers Studio. So I'm going to read this. This is according to NBCLosAngeles.com. Uh, there were water-dropping helicopters that were attacking a stubborn brush fire that broke out Saturday afternoon on the north side of Mount Lee and cast thick smoke over the Warner Brothers Studio and the Hollywood Hills area. Uh, and again, this was a brush fire that started just before 2 p.m., and that's obviously California time, Pacific time. And uh, again, there's no structures that are threatened. That's what the article reports. As of this current moment, no structures are threatened. No residential areas are threatened. Um, but it is worth reporting because wildfires have been really bad this year in California. A lot of lives lost, you know, structural damage, residential damage, um, you know, a lot of damage that is warranted, lots of money to be spent for rebuilding and covering the costs. Um, but... The, the fires have been really bad in California this year, and that is the newest fire that everyone's keeping their eyes on, especially in the Los Angeles area. It's a brush fire near the Warner Brothers studio near the Hollywood Hills area of California. So that is the California wildfire update. Excuse me. Now I want to cover what's going on in Hong Kong. Um, it's been no secret that there's been a lot of anti-government uh, protests that have been going on. Um, between the protesters of Hong Kong and the Hong Kong government. Um, you know, sort of a cat and mouse game as it's being portrayed by the South China Morning Post. Um, you know, at this point, you know, police have been firing tear gas, water cannons. Um, they've been firing rubber bullets, blanks, you name it, they've been firing it. It's been very, very bad, and it didn't help things when there was the report uh, that a student over in Hong Kong had been killed. Um, it's, it's really, really bad right now over there. An excerpt from this says that a water cannon was deployed to disperse the protesters, and about 15 rounds of tear gas were fired throughout the evening as tensions escalated. As of right now, the anti-government protests in Hong Kong are going into their sixth month. Um, so there is just a lot going on. Those are just two of the many signs described in the Bible. Uh, that indicates we're living in the final moments of the end of days. The, the rapture of the church is so imminent, and tribulation is coming to this world, the likes of which this world has never seen before and will never see again. Um, understand me when I say Jesus Christ is coming back soon. We may not know the precise day or hour, but he is coming back, and these are just two signs of the many that prove his return is imminent. Uh, if any of you are watching and you have not been saved, I want to go ahead and give you the gospel. The gospel's 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, which says that Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins. He was buried and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. That's 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. That's the gospel. You repent of your sins and you believe the gospel. The moment, the nanosecond you believe on Jesus Christ, the gospel, you are saved. Ephesians 4.30 says you're sealed until the day of redemption. Once saved, always saved. I fully believe in that. Um, those who claim to be saved but later rebuke their faith, I always ask myself, were they ever really saved to begin with? Um, if you do not believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. So here's the thing. I want to go ahead and also give you Ephesians 2.8 and 9. For by grace are ye saved through faith and that not of yourselves, for it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. So that's what I'm going to leave you here with. Understand that the time of Jesus' return is nearing. I would even go as far as to say he's at the door. I, you know, I'm not setting dates. I'm not into that business, you know. Um, I'm just here to give news and messages as the Lord lays it on my heart. Uh, and, the, you know, the Hong Kong stuff and the California wildfires have been something I've been wanting to cover for a while, but just the timing has never really been right. The Lord was laying other stuff on my heart, and he finally laid this on my heart to give out to you all tonight. 
So I hope this message was a blessing to you all. I will see you guys in the next video. Should the Lord tarry, otherwise, God bless y'all. See you in the air.